Hi, I'm Rich Tannis. And I'm Rod Tannis. And we're the RC Twins. Yes, we are. that stake in the ground well that'd be a tether pole a tether pole yeah seems like you know there was a guy that had a distributorship for piper cubs and he had a real problem yeah well he had left room to land the thing didn't have one of these yeah well he had more he had of one of these room to, t to uh land it because you can land them in a pea patch right but uh, taking it off, another story. So hook it up to a tether pole, rip around the tether pole until you get up to speed. That's there's crazy talk, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Well that yeah. wives tale's been around for as long as we've been alive and plus that. Yeah. Since yeah. the cub was born in 1931. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Okay. Yeah. It's older than you and me put together. So, so, uh, so we're gonna end that wives tale. Yeah, I think we should get this done. <laughs> yeah, we really are. So we got a pound of steak in the ground. Boom, right Voila. there. Voila, there it is in all of its glory with the carbon fiber wings on it and everything like that. All right, here's the release. It's got a GoPro camera right at one end. And you can see inside a receiver and a servo to actuate the release. See, that way we didn't have to modify the airplane. Uh, you just had a simple string right off the end and tied to the end of the strut right. bracket straight where it's the strongest. So you get the strength of the struts and of the wing. Right. And uh, and we were careful not to go around five times and try and rip it apart. Once it's off the ground, that's there's no point in going around anymore. I ran the release only and uh and Rich was you know, did the fly. You had a the, the rudder on a set switch just right. for taking off on a tether. So it's automatically uh, towed out like that. Just like a control line plane. Right. So so that when you want to run circles, for everybody else that doesn't know about control line, well, you know, the if you're going around on a string, that's going to want to pull and it's going to want to turn steer in, in toward you. Yeah. And uh, that rudder keeps that from happening. So I threw in a mix on the A switch. Um, it was on when we were taking off, and as soon as it took off, well, then it wanted to bear to the right and stuff, but I didn't have to overcome it. I just flipped the switch, and everything went back to normal. And I could fly the plane. Like a normal flying airplane. Yeah. Flew it around and landed it and landed it in a, in a short patch just like uh, it would be uh, in this guy's problem. But or, it worked. worked. I, I can't believe how good it worked. I mean, it, it drew that line <laughs> tight. The, the release flew beautiful. Uh, went around a, a half turn. Rod hit the release. It released immediately and flew away. <laughs> and that, that was my goal was to release it directly into the wind. and. Uh, it could not have gone better. Could have gone better. I mean, the whole process only takes seconds, but so what? So, so it accomplished exactly what it was trying to do. You can see right here, here's the string, you know, with a little bit of a loop on it, and it's tied right to the ends of the strut there, you can see. And uh, just tied it like that, simple as that. And then the center was kind of out here, about in the middle of the wing section. Right, so and, it's going to pull uh, away a little bit to help with the whole right turn thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, I gave it just a little bit of extra rudder at the very start just to draw the string tight. And after that, I left it alone and just gradually yeah. throttled it up. I guess I was probably at about, I don't know, half throttle or a little bit more right. by the time I took off. And as soon as I was released, I gave it th uh, three quarter throttle and flew away.
that little strip of grass. Tether pole J3, baby. Right now. Wives tail busted. <laughs> <laughs>